It's Macabre Town. Population Macabre. Right, so, uh, yeah, Macabre. Well, to say that this is funny is a bit of an overstatement, I think. Um, generally speaking, I tend to think of fast vehicles that are fairly powerful, maybe have a good gun at least, um, etc, etc. This isn't fast. It's not fast at all. Um, and it's heavy as well. So, yeah, it's not really that great for doing fast moves. It's Macabre Town. Population Macabre. It feels like a space marine tank, to be honest. I think. I need to be listening to space marine music to get the, the most out of it. Uh, he's maybe dead, possibly. What would be really, really cool and kind of amusing at the same time, or stupid, um, would be if Gaijin did like the crews for this, the crew voices or the Jewish accents. I would say Jewish like phrases and stuff like that. Being slow can be an advantage, I will completely admit that, but when you're facing off against people that aren't slow, it's not at all, and you will suffer for it. Um, likewise, the meta top tier isn't to be slow, it's to be fast as fuck. Well, fast as possible, really, which is like normally 40 miles an hour or so, if not faster, um, which is... Enough to um, get places relatively quickly. That's what this can't do. So you really can't work on the flanks really easily with this thing. Unless you make an initial move straight away to flank, you aren't going to get there. Hello. Engine 25. Hello, Kamid. What are you doing there? No. Oh. Wrong. That went straight through me. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I think he missed, actually. Maybe. But he didn't hit me at least, or do anything.
<laughs> Tang rescuer because I rescued myself. Did lose a crew in there. I think that was um, the rabbi. I'm not sure though. <laughs> Just so, guys, you could have did that with the like the, the, the trader for this. Free rabbi with every Merkava. and then on the internal, like diagram thing, like that. Just give one of them a beard, and that's the uh, rabbi to bless the tank. I think there was an update to 9.0 as well. I mean, this is a bad map for it. It's not a good map at all. Well, it's a bad map for anything, really. I'm bouncing stuff. I'm bouncing stuff.
Quebec Frenchy. If it's up to it, then it's shafted, right? And you have to play defensively. If it's not, and it's only posh up to it, oh wow, it means APFSDS means. And that's number seven. It's actually performing not badly on this map. The trick though, or the issue, being that this map has a lot of roads on it. So it's got good traction everywhere. On other maps, yeah, this isn't going to be as quick of that, I'm sure. I know it's got a poor power to weight ratio in comparison to other MBTs. Unfortunately, owing to the fact that this is a Twitch recording means that the audio cutting out isn't something I can easily control. It does, however, mean I get a chance to do a summary of sorts. 
So, how does the Merkava fit in the current meta around its battle reign? Well, the unit is in a relatively good spot thanks to Gaijin's overcompression tier. And this means that it's in a golden zone for down tiering. This allows it to club the majority of the units it will face, depending on the map and how it's used. The irony with the Merkava is that overall its design is more in line with British units in game and therefore doesn't sit well with the USA tech tree. That being said, the design is substantially different to British designs and anyone else's for that matter. But for the sake of how the unit is used, it's better used in the chief style, aka hold down as much as possible. Therefore, on most maps in the current rotation, the Merkava suits a more defensive strategy, with no rushes into open terrain. The gun is a modified L7-105mm British gun, firing the non-British selection of ammunition, including an APFSDS and HEATFS. The armor protection on the Merkava isn't so great, as there's no composite, and for the most part, the armor is relatively thin. True, it has some very well sloped areas of frontal armor, but the side and rear are easily penetrated. Ammo is stored in the very back of the vehicle, so with normal frontal engagements should be relatively safe. However, side scraping is very risky considering the location of the gun and ammunition. Overall, it's not a bad vehicle, just not what I'd call an IS-6 downed from 7.0 battle rain with a broken mantlet good. Happy hunting. If I were a wealthy man you wouldn't have to work hard. Lord, who made of the lion and the lamb? You decreed I should be what I am. Would it spoil some vast eternal plan? If I were a wealthy man.